What is up, everyone? It's Kesmir. I'm back with The Walking Dead yet again. And we just showed up into this new town, and it's interesting, to say the least, with the political atmosphere going on. Uh, the fact that they have four leaders and stuff like that, I don't... I don't know, I agree with Trip that we should deal with justice, but... I don't know, it, it's, it's almost like some people are operating independently so does that make like david or the other leaders guilty just because one of the leaders is becoming unhinged i don't know and uh, and as far as the relationship goes like i said in the end of the last one i don't even want to be i don't want to be in a relationship with her i never wanted to be <laughs> she's honestly not my type at all but i guess it, it, Javi is his own person, just like Clem's her own person, just because I'm playing them, they have their own goals and all that stuff. But I don't know, it's just, I just think it's going to turn into a giant mess, and if it, and if it was me, I never would have gotten into a relationship with Kate in the first place. But I guess we're just going to have to roll with it, so let's see what happens after leaving the doctor's office here. Remember what I said? Meet these guys. Keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him. Oh. So basically one of his own security forces going rogue. Well, that's kind of good that Badger isn't uh, one of the four leaders. That'd be even a bigger mess. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel like I'm home at last. I hope Richmond can become your home. I know David would like that. And nothing pleases me more than seeing families reunited. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi. Take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. <laughs> Spinach from Clint's garden or a baked delicacy by yours truly. Everything looks so good. I, I want it all. So polite, David. You sure he's your brother? Can't trust a diplomat. Always saying one thing and thinking another. <laughs> Please make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please. Forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment, especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. People get used to doing as they please. No offense, but what qualifies you to lead? Testing us already? Just curious who's leading the troops into battle. Everything you see, we built ourselves. If that's not an endorsement, I don't know what is. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I <laughs> helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. That looks pretty intense. Doesn't it hurt? It's burned into your flesh. Of course it fucking hurts. It's a sign of commitment, not a Buddhist symbol from your year abroad. <laughs> it was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. 
loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask, but I never want them to have to experience loss like that again. I know how you feel. Seeing the people I care about suffer, it, it's a terrible feeling. I just want to shield them from it all. It's a noble aim, one worth fighting for. Max? What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. Let's just say I wouldn't invite him to my wedding. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking go. <laughs> Good, because I just said you wouldn't be invited. <laughs> Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. So stop looking at him. Tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? Answer her. We were on the run from a herd. We just needed a single can. Everyone needs gas, asshole. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. That, that's not all. Rufus said Clementine ran his truck off the road just to break him free. Clementine? A girl we had trouble with in the past. You can always judge a man by the company he keeps. Running with that girl don't look good. I would say not. Clementine's not a bad person. At least from what I've seen. Of course you'd say that. You got that honor among thieves. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to bandits. We're trying to build something different here. Something resembling civilization. You think I'm bad? You have maniacs running around out there who are much, much worse. I'm not sure what you mean. We hold our people to the highest standards. Oh, Javi. You have something to say? Ah! One of your people, some asshole called Badger, he put a bullet in a little girl, my niece, David's daughter. What? Damn it, Javi, I told you I'd handle it. No, David, this cousin fucking dirtbag has the balls to accuse me. He and Badger destroyed an entire town. That's enough. No, we need to hear this. Go on, Javi. Sounds like you've got more to get off your chest. Hey, that was all Badger, not me. I tried to get him to stop, I swear. David, we warned you about getting your soldiers in line. We don't know all the facts. We know enough. She's right, David. You've lost control. I want them gone, all of them. Take Javi and everyone in the quarantine to the gate. Send them out with enough weapons to defend themselves, but no more. Well, darn. We can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend, too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. It's out of my hands. I can't leave Kate and Gabe alone. They won't be alone. I'll be here to take care of them. I can't help you now, but maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive. Okay? Yeah. I regretted doing the outburst right away. your fucking eyes out with my thumbs you hear me asshole
David packed this. He did. They said... Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! Let go of me! Stop! You're gonna get us killed. Dang. Do not fuck this up. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. But is he out? <laughs> okay. Did you piss in someone's oatmeal back there? Thought you were going to play along. We trusted you. Everything was going okay. At first, I don't know what happened back there. Yeah, well, I got a pretty good idea what's gonna happen out here. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. What's that? Oh, it's a map. It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Okay. It looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. There's Richmond. That helps. But we can't go back there. Knowing where it is lets us know where we are. Pretty sure David wants us to go there. And if this is us here, then I think we can head along this path. Just gotta head north. And to find north, we need to find the North Star. Is that it? Uh, I remember something about it facing toward the Little Dipper. Oh, there's the Little Dipper. So there's a big one. That's it. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Let's go. Just gonna leave the Try bag? That's a nice bag. I can't lose anyone else. I'm telling you, I can't. Prescott, Conrad, maybe Eleanor. It's too much. Knock that shit off, Trip. You're better than that. <laughs> we'll see. <sighs> Sorry, man. Rough day, to say the least. I know. You got my back. And I got yours. Of course. After you. I don't think that could have ended any other way. It just depends on if he did an outburst or not. Because it, it sounded like they were headed towards kicking me out anyways. And that's why I just got quiet, because I was like... I gotta tell you, man. I thought you and Kate were... You know... I wouldn't have guessed she was married to... Not you. I ain't judging, mind you. I'm just... Curious. What's the story? Ain't my business, I know. But... What have we got to lose out here? She's my brother's wife. She's family. End of story. Yep. Come on, man. You're not a dumbass. When it comes to these kind of things, the story never really ends. Not for everyone, at least. It's always a mess, ain't it? What's that? Who you love, who loves you. If they're one and the same or otherwise. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> Just when you think you got everything figured out. Boom. Heart goes ass over tea kettle. I don't know. I think it's as complicated as you let it be. Difference between you and me, brother. Eleanor and I, we were... something at some point. But nothing now. I respect her wishes. I really do. I just wish my heart respected mine. Jesus got his eye on something. What you got for us, man? Listen. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out. Heading the same way we are. Well, we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Jesus doesn't even need a weapon. He's got his feeties. Okay, book the line, people. I got him. <laughs> Heck yeah. We can just let Jesus handle it all. Let's go. But it's one zombie. Oh, Rip Yavi. Oh, this that girl. Oh, it's Clem. Hey, Clem. What's up, girl? You should be more careful with this. We're even now. What, because you killed two walkers? I murdered a man for you! I was. But the walkers are everywhere. I had to cover myself in walker guts to get away. Come on. We're heading to a factory nearby. Should be safe. I thought you were going to Richmond. New Frontier kick you out? Doesn't surprise me. Not one bit. Not all of us. Kate and Gabe are still there, with David. David? That asshole's still around? This is gonna sound really weird, but he's my brother. What? Wait, this place we're going, David sent you there? Supposed to be safe. Clem. You can't trust him, Javi. I learned that the hard way. I'm so conflicted. This brand is a lie. It's a lie that says you can trust us. You belong. They don't care about their people. They promised they'd help him. But they were gonna let him die. What, AJ? I think this is a good spot to stop, so we're gonna end this one here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Kazmir out.